discuss something with you. I might be laid off from my job at the shoe store. Why, that's horrible. Sales are way down. Actually, they've dropped to nothing. And all my regular customers have stopped coming in. It's almost as if the preacher and the parson had told their congregation to just stay away. Perhaps it's your breath? Those abscess teeth are awful gamey. I'm not sure. I think it runs deeper than that. Mm. This is a small town. A little gossip can go a long way. Like the time our dog got loose and killed the tarpa's duck. Mm. Well, maybe you could apply at the athletic store. They do need some good help. I was in there the other day looking for a pair of socks and there wasn't a single pair left on the shelves. I asked the girl at the counter if she could find some for me or look in the back to find some extra ones and she laughed. She laughed so hard that she fell onto the floor. That's rude. I'd never treat my customers that way. Yeah, and, and one more thing that I thought was just a wee bit odd. She wasn't wearing any shoes. <laughs> you should have told her to come to my store. Maybe I'd still have a job. Why, that's exactly what I did, but she laughed at me again. And she said the people at her church, well, they don't need them anymore. None. No socks. Whoa. The kids are back already. Well, didn't Kayla and Neil want to play with you? No, no we, we wanted, wanted to clean our rooms. Clean your room? Yes, you, we wanted you to throw our, our shoes away. It's all shoes. Everywhere I go today, it's shoes. I've been next door, I've been back there, it's shoes. Where's the trash? I don't see the trash. <laughs> Their everlasting watch. And our 
her dour bosom doth heave no more. Go out, guiltless creatures, and mount thy now leather-shotted steeds, and spread thee thou blessings amongst the populace of this heathen land, for thou art their saviors, their hope, and their future. Go out, go out, as I have tended for thee, thusly shalt thou tend to be thine, O new flock, thine newborn, newborn lamb. Hark! They await thy blessing. Go out. Go out. Go out. Get your hand off of that sock, sucker! Oh yeah? Something's wrong. It's confusing. 
I don't understand. What's going on around here? Where's the trash? Where's the trash? It's all shoes. That's all I can find. Shoes. Stink. I really smell the trash and stink. Where is the trash? I think it's a really good idea to ask Dr. Pants for some advice. He's got a doctorate in academics. Oh yeah, I remember. He helped you decide whether you should study acting or arithmetic. Well, that's right. It's a good thing I picked acting. I would have been horrible at math. I find the division a bit beyond my abilities. Ouch! <laughs> Let's ask the receptionist if he's ready to see us. Well. Hi, Miss Beulah. Well, hi, boys. Oops, I mean, gentlemen, now. Why, I do remember y'all. You're Ulster the Tony and you're Smack Davins. Wow, you got a good memory. And you're not just a secretary anymore. Oh, you're working as assistant professor underpants. That's right. <laughs> well, we have an appointment to see Dr. Pants at noon. Well, I'll tell him you're here. Would you boys like some coffee? What? Oh, yeah. Sure, yeah, man. Well, lots of cream and That's sugar. That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds really good. Oh, yeah. And I just Thanks, brewed Ms. it this morning. Miss Lawson. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. We can use this. Dr. Pants, Olsen and Smack are here to see you. Please, send them in. By all means. Town Square, and that seems to be the source of all the strangeness. And in spite of the cool weather for this time of year, lots of folks aren't wearing shoes. Aren't they shoes in this weather? Oh, come now, you're sure. 
Oh, no doubt about it. We thought about contacting the government or the military. No. No. No, no. I don't think that's necessary. Let me look into this matter. I've been working nights with Miss Bueller on an interesting experiment, but we can stop for a while. Let me look into it, but I need more facts. Here's another thing. The soldiers at the fort across the river, they don't even march in formation anymore. I can see them. They just amble around like nobody's in charge anymore. Hmm. You boys have been a good help. I'll start working on this. Stop snooping about, stop nosing around, leave things to me. I am the scientist here. Well, thanks, Professor. We'll leave now and we'll be back in a couple of days. Just about enough time. <laughs> you are not. You have a problem. Come. Ask him how to handle these two troublemakers. Down here. What's all this shit? You're not allowed to be here. Stop. Stop. Hey, what you kids doing here? You're not allowed to be here. Out of the way. What's going on down here? What's all this shit? You're not allowed to be here. Hey, 
there with all this stuff? What are you doing out here? You're not allowed to be here. 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 You're not allowed to
Maybe I'll take one of them. How much are you asking for? A buck. Ah, for one dollar. That sounds pretty good. Here you go. Thank you there, little fellers. Street it's shoes. Emmett shoes. Shank Street's been shoes. 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 Where's the trash at? Where's the trash at? Well, what are you kids looking at?
I think we're already here. Lovely. Lovely. Just lovely. You're ready. And as it was foretold in Isaiah, there would come a time. There would come a time, brothers and sisters, There would come a time. <laughs> Beautiful. And now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. I'll be back for you. Now we got some work to do. <laughs> Let's go. Here I am, what a spot. I've contacted the government. I've contacted the military. They haven't helped. It's come to this, so I've got to talk to Mrs. Upbottom. Madam Upbottom, she calls herself. Gypsy woman. I've got to do what I can. Um, madam, uh, sorry, sorry to disturb you, madam, uh, madam Upbottom, but, uh, I have a problem. Of course you have a problem, fool. Nobody comes to me unless they have a problem. I can already see without casting my runes that you are an idiot. An idiot with a dilemma. Something only I can help you with. Well, well uh, Madam Upbottom, that's a little bit Shut hard. Shut up, you imbecile! I'll bet you already have contacted the government, the president, the military, the United Nations. The so-called brainiacs at the university. Tell me, you nincompoop, did you talk to Dr. Pants? Well, yes, but how... You stupid moron. You make me sick to it. The professor used to try not to be seen with me. But all the townsfolk knew. <laughs> I bore him a son. Stanley. Stan the garbage man. But the professor wouldn't own up to it. He dumped me for a mere co-ed he hired on as a reception. Uh, 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 Silence! I know why you're here, sissy boy. You think you're a big hero trying to save us. 
I'll cook them while you go save us. All from monsters and spaceships and dinosaurs from outer space. <gasps> Get on with the Sit reading. Down. Dancing. I paid Madam Up Bottom double. And she told me that she feels like dancing. She feels like dancing. Dancing? Yes. Who is that? The Truman Mulcahy? Put him on. Yes, this is Inspector Francois Dubois. There's been a death. Oh, that is just great. Oh, so it looks like a murder. Well, thank you for your opinion, Patrolman Mulcahy. <laughs> but who is the inspector here? You or me? 
yes, that's right. <clears throat> well, why are you sure it wasn't even just an accident? I see. Yes, yes. Go on. A pitchfork sticking out in the back of his neck? Listen, Mulcair, I am the professional sleuth here. I make deductions from the evidence I gather, and, and not you. I will conclude whether the death was the result of mere bad luck or foul play. <laughs> An apology accepted. Now that you understand your role in this matter, Monkey, what else do you think you know about the crime? You have two witnesses who have seen given and sworn statements that a flying saucer landed on top of him? So, Monkey, you still think it was a murder by Pitchfork? <laughs> ah, so now murders just maybe, huh, maybe. <laughs> I have years of the training and expertise in the fields of forensics. Oh. So, now you think that maybe the fact that his skull was crushed by extraterrestrials in a spaceship is the official cause of death, eh? <laughs> well, smart guy Mulkey, answer this question. Was it murder or manslaughter? Or was it an accidental death? <laughs> And who has jurisdiction over deaths caused by monsters from outer space? <laughs> Perhaps, Mulkey, you, in this case you should call the immigration services. <laughs> Maybe all you can do is, as a representative of the police department, is write the alien invaders a parking ticket? <laughs> Not so sure anymore, are you, Mulkey? Tell me, Mulkey, was his skull crushed like an egg in the spaceship first, or did the victim look up at the spaceship as he was preparing to land, become frightened and trip and fall backwards on the upturned pitchfork? See, Mulkey? <laughs> you see? You really don't know very much about this case at all, do you? <laughs> you thought you had it all wrapped up in one neat little package, and then you called me. You were just going to call me, me for the boys in the morgue to send up the meat wagon and pick up the unlucky stiff. That's why I'm the famous inspector Francois Dubois, and you are ordinary patrolman Mulkey. <laughs> Tell me, Mulkey, did you bother to check for tracks around the body? Ah, you did, eh? Mm. No, then you did. What, uh, no shoe tracks, no boot tracks, no sandal tracks, not even the bedroom slipper tracks? You found what? In this weather? You expect me to believe there's nothing but sock prints on the ground around the corpse? Sock prints? Just how many more years do you want to be a patrolman, Moki? Moki! Moki! What's that noise? Of course it sounded like a dinosaur, I knew that. I am inspector, I clearly decided that you are being menaced by a dinosaur. Well, use your revolver if you think you have to, okay? But you will have to fill out the extra paperwork before you go. <laughs> wow, that sounds like a big one. Dot. Finally, this shift, she is over. A sheep, she does not like overtime. I am out of here. <laughs> my donut and my bottle.
soldiers in the fort. See? I told you they don't march in formation anymore. Shoot, Smack! Look! You can tell they don't even wear boots anymore. They're just shambling around aimlessly in, in their white socks. You're right, Ulcer. Hey! I thought they wore camouflage socks. Well, Maybe it was a budget issue, but with the nuclear project and the flying saucer sightings we keep hearing about, I'll have to ask Professor Pants just what the secret experiment is these troops were stationed here to protect. I don't know, Ulcer. We're in a heap of trouble. If we can't provide proper footwear for our troops to wear at the home base... Hey, 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 smack! Look! Look over there by the fence! Look where the fort and the university share the boundaries. It's over there near Professor Pants' office. Look, you can see an MP. The MP is a garden, the fort. Look at there. Garden? Heck, he's napping. I bet he's so close he can hear us. Hey, watch, Olson. Hey! Soldier boy! Well, that got his attention. Perhaps we just saved him from KP duty. Oh my gosh. He, he's getting frightened by something. He's looking down near his feet. Hey, I can see something moving. It's getting closer to him. I see it. It's white. It's about a foot long. It looks like an albino rat or maybe a possum. And it's only about a yard away. Oh no, there's two of them. Hey, he's trying to call for help. He, he's, oh no, he, he dropped the radio phone. I think he's too paralyzed with fear to move. Defend yourself, man. Do something. Don't just stand there. It's no use. He's not even trying to use his weapon. <laughs> it's like he's in a trance, doing a slow dance with death. That gypsy woman. That gypsy woman. Hey, Smack! That gypsy woman. Madam Upbottom. She said she feels like dancing is the only thing that can save us from these knitted monsters. It didn't make any sense at the time. But maybe she's right. Maybe the only way we can save ourselves is through dancing. Well, that MP better start dancing now or never. Hey, MP! 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 Start dancing! Save yourself! Start dancing! Dancing, I say! Dance! 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 Though that's holding them beasts at bay for a while, but now they're starting to get closer. He needs to dance faster! Dance faster! Faster! Dance faster! Faster! Dance faster! 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 Dance faster! Look, it's working! Yeah! Yeah, look! He stabbed one of the 
monsters with his weapon. Oh no! For heaven's sake! It's a little too little! Too late! Look, the other one's got him! He'd have been better off if both monsters had got him! Oh! The terror! The horror! The hideousness! The humanity! He's being changed! He's being changed into some abnormality right before our eyes. Oh, it's almost too horrible to watch. He's not quite one of them. And he's not quite one of us. He's, he's a betweener. He's a betwixter. Probably doomed to live the rest of his life in that hellish purgatory. Neither holy human, nor holy monster. Well, at least we know the solution is stopping these demonic monsters from outer space. These alien invaders that come from the voids that separate the galaxies and the shooting stars. And that solution is dancing as fast as you can. For as long as you can! We need lots of music. Music from every country and tribe on Earth. And a mirror ball. A really big mirror ball. Big as the moon and tap shoes and ballerina toe shoes and... Well, smack, 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 let's go. Let's leave this poor creature to his fate. We've got work to do. They don't even know it yet, but the entire human race is depending on us now.
The world would be a happier place if those darned monsters never came here. Lousy me! They went and drank up all my beer. Space. I'm tired of singing their stupid songs. I'm tired of wearing these stupid socks. I prefer my university plaid. Sacre bleu! And almost everyone I know last winter got fry spied on their toes. And this, now this, this is the last straw! Darn these socks! I want to wear Oxfords again! And shoes! And sandals! What can we what do? Can we do? What, 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 what on earth can we do? What can we do about this? Dance. What can we do? Dance, everybody. Dance. Dance as fast as you can. Dance to save yourselves. Dance to rid ourselves of these monsters from outer space. Yes. I understand now. We must dance. Gypsy, Ulsa, dance, dance. We must dance to it ourselves with these intergalactic monsters. Okay, let's dance.
I wonder, I wonder if we really are rid of these intergalactic fiends.